The ASABE 49th landmark designation in 2007 was the development of self-leveling control for hillside combines. The first hillside combines were made commercially available in the period from 1890 to 1900. They were large wooden framed machines drawn by 30 to 44 horses or mules, had ground traction driven separators, and required five men to operate, not including the water boy. A big advance was the introduction of the internal combustion engine in 1904 as auxiliary power to operate the threshing machine. This development cut down the number of horses required to operate a combine and made possible the further conversion of the rolling grasslands to productive wheat fields. During the period from 1910 to 1949, hillside combine development was marked by general design improvements such as universal adoption of steel frame and body, anti-friction bearings, V-belt drives, rubber tires, weight reduction, and etc., making it possible for a two-man crew to take the place of the original five-man crew. The primary difference between a hillside combine and a conventional combine is that the separator body is kept level regardless of the ground slope. The entire separator body is kept level in the lateral direction. In 1941, near Palouse, Washington, Raymond A. Hansen conceived of a self-leveling mechanism for hillside combines, which he later patented. Before the Hansen invention, manual leveling required a person to stand on the combine platform and adjust the machine to the lay of the land, a hot, tedious job. This is the first combine modified by Hansen. The first 10 self-leveling mechanisms were built in 1945. A mercury switch controlled a vacuum-operated cylinder to level the separation mechanism. The grain-saving attributes of Hansen's invention were probably more important than the labor savings, although both were valuable. Over the next several years, he built and sold some 2,000 by going farm to farm and offering to install them for a trial period and to remove them if the farmer wasn't satisfied. He never had to take one back. Hansen founded the Rayco Company in 1946 to produce the automatic leveling device. Since then, Rayco has grown into a world leader in the design and production of custom commercial machinery systems. Rayco estimates that automatic leveling has saved at least 3% of grain harvested on lands where combine leveling is needed, which is worth millions of dollars each year.